Hey everyone, it's Mother Geek and today I'm going to be showing you this. It's the Baby Barn Little Sister Mermaid doll. This has a minimum age of three and over and it costs £29.99. pence. So we've been sent this to review, so what I thought I would do is just unbox it quickly, show you what's included and then give it a go and we'll see how well she really swims. So on the side of the box it says, swims like a real mermaid. On the back again it says, swims like a real mermaid, extra long hair for styling. So we'll go ahead now and get this open. Here's a close look at the tiara and the comb. Okay, so there is the doll out of the packaging. Her tail is really like rubbery. Tail's a bit flexible. Her arms are posable, as is her head. She doesn't close her eyes when she lies down. And then on the back, you can see the battery compartment. So I'll just go ahead now and install the batteries. Okay, so she's got her battery pack on now. So on the back, you've got the on off button. Now the instructions say that the water sensors will kick in and start her fin moving when she gets put into water. So I was a bit worried at first thinking it was broken. So what we'll do is we'll try it in a moment. I just want to show you the detail first. You can see her tail is lovely and sparkly and something else which I really really like about this is that it's got a child's face and a child's figure so many toys now have got you know like a, a womanly figure and um, so it's nice for children to see a, a mer child if you will you know she's not a full-grown woman yet she is a child so her tail's a bit floppy so what we'll do now is we'll move into the bathroom and we'll see what she can do. So here we are in the bathroom. What well, bath is full. So what the instructions say is to lower the doll carefully, tummy first, into the water. Now, the button on the back, got on and off. So I'm assuming that's on. It doesn't say, but it feels like it is. So I'm just gonna lower her tail into the water. Can see where her tail is moving. Not sure how long it'll take her to swim a length right, you know. She's definitely swimming. She's definitely swimming. I don't think she's gonna be uh, competing in the Olympics anytime soon. We'll just lift her out a bit. Then there's the water falling out. And once enough water is poured out, I'm guessing that is when she stops. So if we just pop her in now, I've not switched her off this time, so if we just pop her in, we'll see. Yeah, I get ready.
So this time I didn't dip the tail in just to see if that made any difference. I don't think it does really. What happens if we put her under a bit more? Oh, there we go. She's a bit faster now. So maybe that's the way to go. Should we see what happens if we submerge her completely? She just pops straight back up. She's still working. Cute, and I can see any mermaid fan loving her. Um, there we go. There she is up close. You can see how glittery her face is as well. So I hope this video has been useful for you. Do let me know down below if you get this doll and um, what you think of her. You can see her hair is cute. She's got purple streaks and it's long enough so you can style it. But the instructions do say it must be tied back when she's swimming, so do bear that in mind as well. But for now, thanks for watching.